the Black Plain and the Gold Plain, carrying football players, staff, and school administrators from Kansas to Logan, Utah, where the Shockers were set to take on Utah State. They had made a refueling stop at Denver's Stapleton Airport. While the Black Plain took the planned flight path through southern Wyoming, the Gold Plains pilot decided to take a scenic route over the Colorado Rockies. According to the NTSB, though, the plane was too heavy, and the pilot overestimated the aircraft's capability. Around 1 p.m. that day, the plane crashed into Mount Trelease near Silver Plume, 10,750 feet above sea level. Survivors of the crash recalled the plane's sudden drop, hitting treetops, and ultimately waking up in a pile of wreckage. Among the 31 who died as a result of the fiery crash, 14 football players, the head coach, five university staffers, three of their wives, and the flight crew. A memorial for those victims now sits near the crash site along Interstate 70, which was just being paved at the time of the crash. The surviving players on the Wichita State team voted to continue playing the 1970 campaign in honor of their fallen teammates. They called it the second season. The Wichita State plane crash was just the first of two in the fall of 1970. 43 days later, 75 people were killed when the plane carrying the Marshall football team crashed in West Virginia. This has been This Day in History.